Peace. I'm gonna say hey, what's up to Ghetto TV. You know, I met them down in New Orleans. Some real good dudes running this. Dudes need to try to get at them. I just wanna say to all the little young brothers out here, man, that yo, I did 29 joints straight. I know what it's like to be locked down. Ain't nothing to that shit. That shit is bullshit. All the way straight bullshit. Ain't no tough niggas in prison. I don't give a fuck who they are. Police look up their ass anytime they feel like it. Real talk. I'm telling you, little young niggas, this ain't shit y'all doing. Ain't about no money. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't about no money, then y'all gotta let it fly. You know, all that shit about my block. Ain't, when you go to jail, ain't nobody block. It's white man block all over again. They start from scratch. You know, two other niggas be doing the same thing. Yo, keep your head up. Try to get y'all niggas, try to get some money. That's what's good. Get your education. That's what's happening. So tell niggas real, had, real shit, you, yeah. we met you in New Orleans and just yeah. happened to bump into. Yeah, just happened to bump, yeah, happened to bump into me. Walking on, 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 on to 125th Street. Wow. Yeah, that's what's up. I met him in New Orleans. We had a nice time in New Orleans, popping mad bottles. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. And that's how niggas supposed to be living. Half you little niggas ain't even been nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So put them motherfucking guns down, get on some of them planes and start flying around and meeting some motherfucking people, man. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Ghetto TV, you understand? Ghetto TV? Ghetto TV. Ghetto TV, Ghetto TV, Ghetto TV. What's happening, Ghetto TV? Ghetto TV. Because he got something better for you and the best is yet to come. So don't quit five minutes before the miracle. Keep it simple, stupid, and stay on the path to righteousness yes, and more be revealed. Yes, Peace. Hey. Who, who is the original man? <laughs> who is the original man? You asking me? You, him, every man really, you know what I mean? A lot of people they don't get the degree for his full meaning, you know? Every man is supposed to be an original man, you know? Every man is supposed to be his own self. I mean, of course, you're going to have, like, influences and things that you're going to have to practice as being part of a person that exists in the society. But each man needs to be original, you know? Nowadays, it's, it's more... Um, the funniest thing I see, really, is, like, when 
when I see somebody copying over somebody that's trying to copy off of them. <laughs> I see it for what it is, not for what it pays to be. Right. You know, it don't have no originality in it. Dig this though, can you uh, break down the uh, signs of the origin of existence? Sure, God. For the people that don't know out there, there's a lot of deaf, dumb, and blind people out there. I created what you see from Black Mud, the breath of life divine. I combine elements with measurements most refined, putting prime materials in line, adhering to the imperial in my own good time, ethereal gravitation, causing a rotation, placing the atoms in a fixed formation, 3D illustration of the nameless do all praising, Allah love, love Allah he, arm leg leg arm, supreme H-E-A-D, with seven holes in the face to see, hear, speak, smell, and taste, lace the composition with nine organized systems, transmission of the Cynthia signal to the wisdom, for which a biochemical composition is formed, completion at born, making the cipher liable when the knowledge add on. Like that. The free man tell by Allah that black man felt the reverse. That's because the condition of the black man in this, here, in this world today is reversed of that for which it would normally be. We were once kings and queens and now we're paupers and beggars. Uh, tell me, brother, how do you uh, how do you see the, the state of today's youth, black youth in particular? The state of the black youth is, 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 is critical. I'm, let me give you a little history. When I was a young man back in the 60s, what happened was we used to wear suits and ties. We used to emulate the older brothers who wore suits and ties. Now, there was a, 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 a man by the name of Underwood. You understand? And he uh, came out, he was a drug seller. He came out with sneakers and jeans. Now what happened was that the, uh, the, the hustlers back in the day were very, very elegant in their dress. And so the police knew who was doing what and who was doing what, who was doing what and who was doing right and who was doing wrong. What happened is that Underwood flipped the script. What he did is he wore sneakers and jeans and he had a Jeep. You understand what I'm saying? Now, he blowed up. He got a lot of money. You don't hear too much about him. He got a lot of money. He was out of 14th Street. Now, when he blowed up and whatnot, and he he started uh, 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 producing rappers, the new editions and things like that there. You know what I'm saying? So the young start seeing this man, and they decided that what he was doing was correct. As far as, man, you understand, enslaving the people. You see what I'm saying? He was a correct, he was a total 10%. So what they did is they start emulating him. And today, what we have today, we see today, is that we see the uh, 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 Underwood's legacy. We see people walking around with sneakers. We have made Nike rich. And we haven't gotten anything from it. You understand what I'm saying? We see brothers walking around with pants falling off their ass and whatnot, disrespecting, showing their ass and whatnot. And we don't have no older brothers out here correcting this here, uh, this foolishness. You see what I'm saying? The older brothers now are emulating the young. So now you have the young teaching the old instead of the old teaching the young. You see what I'm saying? Now, some people would think by the way I dress and the way some other brothers dress is that we are players, pimps, you know, and things like that there. But what happened is, is like I have dignity about myself. When I, I dress like a king, you see what I'm saying? And I think like a king, I feel like a king. I have knowledge of self, therefore I emulate the things that produce knowledge, strength, and power. You see what I'm saying? I can go downtown and get respect. The average young boy go downtown and then what they do is they, they, they bring about fear. They think that the woman, the women, think that they're going to rob them or rape them and whatnot and whatnot. And you really couldn't tell. You can't tell the dope fiend from the crackhead, the crackhead from the ball. You see what I'm saying? And this is, this, is, this is critical. Not that I say we need to dress a certain way and say this is our status or this is where we're coming from. But you got to use your, you got to use your intelligence. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want to be thought of as a crack dealer if you were going to college and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to emulate that their knowledge. You don't want to emulate that lifestyle. But we got rappers going out there saying things and whatnot that uh, the kids think that, you know, this is the game. This is the, this is the wisdom. You see what I'm saying? And all they doing is they getting their knowledge from a book. 
or they getting their knowledge from a broke down player. You see what I'm saying? They got their they terms like the game ain't told, it's sold. You see what I'm saying? And young and, and older dudes will do, use that to get a few dollars from the brother, from the young brothers, and they go ahead and buy they they go and buy crack or dope or alcohol. And the young brothers see this. Some young brothers are smart enough to know that I don't want to go that route. And I I applaud them. You see what I'm saying? But fashion, people have become a slave to fashion. You see what I'm saying? And when you when you wear certain things, you start thinking about what this that you're wearing represents and you start emulating it. So it's very important that we watch our wardrobe. It's very important that we watch what we eat. It's very important that we watch what we say to, to the sisters. The sisters now, the young sisters are in power. They got the jobs, they got the education, and they have mannerisms from the old school. They have mannerisms, they, 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 they follow their mother and father's uh, 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 dictates. But the young brothers is, is now turning their back on that. And they're trying to bring about something new. I don't blame them for trying to bring about something new, but you can't forget the foundation. That's all I have. Peace. 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 Peace to the gods. Got it now. Everybody who came out. You know what I'm saying? And check this out. Since you're here, right? Since we got the gods in the building. I got something for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I got something for the gods right now. Yeah, peace to the gods. I see y'all support. I see that 5% album in your hand. Yeah. L-O-C-K-A-B-L-O-C-K. I'm the best in the game ever. In the relationship between a man and a woman, there is a energy that is being at play between the man and the woman. The man emits five billion sperm cells. 
of those five billion sperm cells, four billion nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine have to run interference so that one makes it. That one that can lodge himself into the egg is the chosen one. He's the one who was chosen to win the race. The other ones are eradicated, but they eradicated because they did a divine service. It's just like if I know I have to sacrifice myself so that you can get to the next point. Long as I know you get to the next point, it's all right. It's when you don't get to the next point and the sacrifice is wasted that there's a problem. Then when this one gets in there, we have to go back and trace where did he come from. Well, the egg was already inside of her, so it didn't come from the egg. It came from you. It was alive, swimming its way up into the egg. That life came out of you and went into her and it linked up with the house. Now we have a man living in the house. Or per se, we have a girl or a woman living in the house. And this produced the life form that you see today as the man and the woman. The amendment moved us from what? Amendment. Moved us from what? Being chattel that. slaves wow. to being war to the state. Yeah. We now we belong to the federal government. I was just about to ask you what is you know, We're not citizens. You, you know about sovereignty and all that. Of course. You're not a citizen. Yeah. American mean white. People I'm saying I'm from the Midwest. Yeah. We don't know too much about sovereignty. So what you think up here they know? They don't know shit. Don't think because New York and we on 125th, or you know, yeah. but we don't have, we had a concerted well, effort. That, though, no? Yo, why because everybody has been, you got programming from TV, they programming the mind. Right. They got the genetically modified foods fucking up your mind. Right. They got chloride and fluoride and water making you docile. You know what I'm saying? When you people go to school from K to 12, that's 13 years, they got you trapped. Right. They got your mind, then you go on four or five more years to college, you got your mind even deeper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then you in the religion. You go to every week you go in the yes. church, God is white. God is white. Then you run from the white man religion, oh I'm gonna go to Islam. That's the Arab religion. We control that. Right. Then oh no, then you go to the new age shit. None of that. We had brothers here the other day telling us, yo, forget about black people that don't know. We gotta the those of us that know gotta come together and elevate using our minds only, the black mind power is going to get us free. Are you serious? You going up against cats with 70,000 nuclear bombs mm. and you talking about you going to levitate and all this shit with your mind to get free? Yeah. When they enslaved us, they didn't use that. Yeah. Yeah. They, they took your ass and drug you on a slave ship and took you thousands of miles to Brazil, to the Caribbean, to Central America, to North America. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what they did. So how are you going to get out of that condition? You got to reverse it. You're going to have to physically do something. You know what I'm saying? For a man to be enslaved, right, he got to lay down a little bit. For another man to stand on top of you. If you don't fucking stand up, that's your fault. So we got to stand up. You know what I'm saying? We got intelligence, the same intelligence any other group on the planet got. We got to start using our intelligence for ourselves. Right. We got to have, like Marcus Garvey said, one God, one aim, one destiny. That's from our perspective. Right. You know what I'm saying? We not Americans. That's bullshit. I don't care if we speak English. I don't care if we here for another thousand years. We're still not in America. We never been. You know? And until you claim who you are, you claim your sovereignty, and you claim your reparations, that's when you're going to get it. You're not going to, ain't nobody just going to lay down and just give you it. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you want that pretty girl, what you go do, you go get her. Right. She not just gonna come to you on a red carpet. Yeah, so we want our 40 acres and a mule, we gonna have to take it. Right. It's not gonna have to be given to us. And as our people are trapped in a mentality where we expect things to be given to us. So, so tell me this, are you sovereign? Are you a sovereign man? <sighs> Brother, I'm sovereign from the mere fact that I know who I am. And I don't, I'm not a slave on this plantation. I go wherever I wanna go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Earth is the turf. 
That's where we from. I've been all over the world, and I'm not just talking. If I have my passport, I show you. You know what I'm saying? That's the way we gotta think. We cannot let Europeans dictate to us who we are anymore. That's the problem. They dictate Martin Luther King's legacy. That's why everybody think he's a dreamer, when he was one of the most radical entities of the 20th century, but nobody look at him like that because right. white people control his image. White people control his legacy. So if white people controlling the King legacy. When all his children die, they don't got children, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Shit, legacy died. So tell, tell me this, I'm, I'm gonna throw out some names at you and I, I wanna see what, how you smile. What's your, what's your thing? I like your man. Yo, like, uh, Barack Obama. Come on, man, that's the biggest trick the devil ever played. Next to making you think that there was a Jesus Christ. That's right next to it. That's up there with like the Jesus Christ myth. It's right next to it. Obama's for black people. Obama's your savior. Come on, man. I saw that through that game before he was running for president. I had no information because I listened to my spirit. I listened to my intelligence. Right, right. Okay. You know, uh, next name. Jesse Jackson. Man, old Negro, man. Broke. No new ideas. Nothing. He, 40 years since civil rights been, he ain't do nothing. Right, right. He ain't give us no direction, no wisdom. Right. What about... Uh, Integrationist, that's the word for him. Are you familiar with uh, Dr. Sebi? Of course, oh, he's a good brother. Cure people of AIDS, cancer, you know what I'm saying? Right down in Honduras, a good brother, man. You know, more of us should think like him and listen to him, you know? Why don't, why when a, a powerful brother like that comes along, why, why, why are we so... Instead of, you know what I mean, gravitating to him, we Because the devil like... in your mind telling you. <laughs> Not mine. Not uh, your yeah, mind. Yeah. When I say you, I mean a no representation doubt, yeah. for the, oh, all of us, even no me. Doubt, no doubt. The good. devil in the mind, you know what I'm saying? When something is good, I told you, it's like the brother behind us. Why is it so When I say unreal? something good for black people, yeah. you say no, the white man says that's God. That can't be real. They already believe in spookism, so why you can't believe the earth can heal you, that your own body can heal 85% of our people, though the knowledge that came to us in the wilderness of North America ever since 1930, from uh, Master Farah Mohammed coming across the shores and bringing us the book of uh, the Nation of Islam, uh, as we call it, the secret wisdom, uh, secret teachings of Islam. And we got it from Allah the Father as he compiled it into a book of life that gave us life in 120 degrees and set us back on the right path. And we was the ones who have revived from that mental death. But many of our brothers and sisters haven't revived from that mental death and they are suffering from a physical death in the sense that they physically dead, mentally deaf, dumb, and blind. So although they have a body that is alive, Physically, mentally, they deaf and they dumb and they blind and, they, and, and as a whole, it's 85% of our population that still suffer that mental death and don't want to really come back to their own because they've been comfortable in following the devil's teaching, the devil's ways. And it's easier to be led in the wrong direction and it's harder for them to really do something for themselves and going in the right direction. They got to work to get it right and exact. We must have understand. We can't say that there was a mistake made. And we should not recognize it. No. Isn't it this good? I know you pretty well. Right. The truth is true. Yes, sir. If one from among us made an enemy for us, well, we don't go after his father, but during this, we go after the maker. Why did you make us an enemy? He replied back for us to show what was in you. Yes, sir. He was, he was in you, and you didn't know it. So I brought him out of you, and made a point. Got a lot of it. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take your time. Don't think you need some gloves on to touch it. <laughs> we got a lot of them. Yes, sir. So he made their white rings by taking them from us. And the Holy Quran challenges them after they have been made and given power to rule. He reminds his Christian, don't forget who made you. Was it you yourself or what a big weed at me? Yes, sir. This is to stop him from being proud. Oh, my his maker. That he had something to do with. We are the only created people on earth. Yes, sir. The black man is a created man. And that man that we call white, he is a made man from the black. So since that uh, the white race was made from the black people, black nation, the created people, and now what was the purpose? It was the purpose to bring out of the black man that which he didn't know that existed in him. And that that which existed in him could be made all for you. Yes, sir. If given a point and given the knowledge of the black man, he could rule the black man for a certain number of years until a greater one than he has been produced by the black man. Yes, sir. So this is what our Savior, Pastor Farad Muhammad, found in us. Therefore, he came for us to save us because that we are people belong to the creation. Yes, sir. <clears throat> we are not a made people, as I repeat. We are a created people. Therefore, getting after one that was created righteous. Now, out of us, this one created from us an unrighteous people. Because we had that germ left in us from the creation of us. A germ that was not purified, that it could not be changed into a wicked germ. That we would have in us today another people, a white people, could be made from us as we stand now, regardless of how righteous we may be. We still contains the germ of unrighteousness. This, this is why we can do unrighteousness. Because the germ is still there. Of you on the state of state of the youth now this. We are without the knowledge of ourselves. You know why what our problem exists? We refuse to come to the nation of Islam, follow the program of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, which is our salvation. Minister Farrakhan and the nation is going to be successful whether we come and join or not. Allah will replace us with somebody that will do the work. Tell him how it cleans him up. Yeah. Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm was a uh, so was a number runner. 
Dell de de drug, all kind of other stuff. Right. You know, so uh, only thing that reformed them and cleaned them up is the program of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. All of us. You should hear some of the stories of the members of the Nation of Islam. We didn't fall down from heaven. We came up from out of the hells of these streets, brother. Yeah, a lot of us get an education. We think we're going, that education screwed us up. Willie Lynch, a whole lot of other stuff. Come on, it's time for us to wake up, brother. Nothing is going to be successful but the Nation of Islam, the program of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad under the leadership of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And his spirit, just like my spirit is, you take that or you can leave it alone. I'm doing what I'm doing. Save my backside. I know what the nation did for me. Let me ask you a quick question real quick. What's up you on Obama? Obama? He's just another black man. He too got to come to the program. He being used. He was selected before he was elected. Wow. Come on, man. We got to study, do research. If you want to hire something from black people, put it in a book. <laughs> May Allah bless you. Be on it, man. I told y'all niggas, man. Be on it, ghetto TV, man. We ghetto, man. We hood, man. We good, man. Where we at? Bro, we up? We on 25th, man. Park in Madison. Mad ass. Legacy, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a legendary hood spot. You know what I'm saying? You know how they got Grand Central. This is Weed Central, man. Go get some motherfucking shit on. You know what I mean? Avenue right here, man. Yo. Sidewalk 009 all in your area. Yeah. Look for us. Yeah. Multi-hop all day. You know All what in it your is, television. Man. Scream at me. Sidewalk. Woozy Wools, a.k.a. Splack DeVille. Oh, you Woozy Wools? Yeah, I'm Woozy Wools, a.k.a. Splack DeVille. Wow. You already know Splack the Villain. You know what I mean? Because I'm a villain. Y'all got to come check us, bud. Warrior bro. Gang, Bang. All that, you know what I'm saying? Holy yeah. shit down, son, for a long time. Where y'all at? We ain't, we ain't conceded, we just convinced, you know. Come through, come check with us, eat with us, smoke with, with us. Get a little taste of seafood, nope. you know what I'm saying? A little madness, you know what I mean? Yo, what Get your urine dirty with us. Let me ask y'all a few questions. What y'all think about the man Barack? Barack, I think he's just a face man, man. I'm just keeping it real. I ain't never need no government, man, you know what I'm saying? I've always been a hustler, man. I came out the pussy hustling nipples, man. You know what I'm saying? Clitoris, man. We on it, man. <laughs> yeah. Malcolm X. Malcolm X, he's um, the realest brother that was alive, man. Because he held that thing. He knew what it was about, man. You could get betrayed by your own kind, man. You trust me, man. Anybody could do it to you. Your own kind could do it to you. So, you know, you just got to see people for what they is, man. They heart. You got to see people for what they heart and they mind, man. That's what we on, man. It don't matter what color or creed, man. You know what I'm saying? Malcolm X was a real brother. He's one of my inspirations. You know what I'm saying? See the gold teeth. You know what I mean? You know what it is, man. What about Jesse Jackson? Jesse Jackson is a sellout. Sellout, sellout. Al Sharpton is sellout. Niggas don't come to the hood and get brothers no jobs. Always talk about niggas need to get off the corner. Right. But y'all niggas is in the corporations and y'all won't do nothing for us in the hood. Y'all yeah. talk about black this, black that. But I ain't seen one y'all come over here and give me an application yet. And I've been here for like 15 plus. You know what I'm saying? Not one. Al Sharm used to have an office right here. I used to see him jump out of his car and go straight to his office and give us a hunt. You know one of those. Uh, <laughs> yeah, one of those. He ain't never stop and be like, hey, how y'all brothers? I know y'all out here every day. My people tell me, I know y'all out here. What can I do for y'all? You know what I'm saying? To better y'all community. But what he doing is better in his community, his congregation, his people. You know what I'm saying? You can't separate. The worst sin the devil made was separation. And a lot of people follow that, man. You can't be separated. We all together. We all one. We all a unit, man. Yo, arm, leg, arm, arm, leg, leg, arm, ahead, man. Forms a man, man. You know what I mean? So y'all, y'all do the knowledge on that. Good. Oh, my God.
I was trying to call you. No, case closed. Well, we got this. Oh, okay. No, we ain't chilling here. No, 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 we got this. Man. No, he fought. He fought. What they say? We yeah, you got. They want to get tickets, God. That's ridiculous. We've been doing this, coaches, man, long and coaches side for years, man, without any issue. Half of them wasn't even born. Half of them right here that's wearing the uniform wasn't even born, man. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, man. I'd agree with power understanding, man. I know what I'm talking about. I've been here from day one, and we ain't never had issue with Seaside for Power at our universal rallies or at our universal show and proves. Never. Never did. And that guard did could tell you the same thing, but he's been here since day one, too. That's right. We know what we're talking about. That's right. This ain't no shit we heard from somebody else. We got this is what, what the we father know. Said. We do father say go upon to the Lord. Lord that's it. You know if they I'm say saying? move, we move, that's God. What make us you know what I mean? That's it. If he be say move, God, God, then we move. Right show shit, some man. respect or then when we gonna need them one day. We're gonna need them one day, you know what I mean? So we show them. That's how you them get no power. Okay. If you submit to that shit, you giving them power. Well, if you don't it. do what they want you to do, then you stuck Let me get the guard, Lord Jamel, to see our rope. Peace. Peace. You know what? They get even angrier. All right. Because we handled it better than they thought we could. Right. They ain't even got a job anymore. Because we did our own business. And that's the civilized the what? Uncivilized. And that's why we feel to be born. They ain't got time for that. They got a job. No, they didn't want to buy their paycheck. You understand what I'm saying? But they still in the room of six. God told we in it, but not what? Of it. Don't get caught up in that shit. The easiest thing to do is go by their laws. The hardest thing to do is to get above it. The hardest thing to do is build beyond equality. The hardest thing is to go to God. To be the supreme one. No mystery of God, but God of what? Self. Lord and what? Master. My own self, Lord and Master. When I do something, nobody didn't make me do it. I did it because I knew it was right. And that's the same way you tell your children. Right is right and wrong is wrong. In a fucking church, don't fuck all day. I don't even want to be compared to the church. I want to be compared to the 85 percent because I know they don't like us. That's the rules and regulations of the wisdom bill destroy the Hey, They don't like the gods. They never did. 
They didn't even think we were going to be here this long. We ain't even supposed to have a car. Because <laughs> when we was coming up in this motherfucker in the Rizini, we was taking the subway. And it wasn't this many cars out here. Now everybody got cars. Oh, wow, they built it. <laughs> they real. But the worst thing to do is try to fight them with your knowledge. Because they knowledge can't compare to yours. The worst thing to do is try to show them that they the devil by God. All you gotta do is show them motherfuckers. You ain't said nothing. You want me to move it? I'll move it. Now what? Because he can't get past six. All he could do is keep you in it. Get above six and they can't touch you. And I will father to you. Get above six. Be in it and not one of it. That's mathematics. Peace, Queen. That's mathematics. Come on, Queen. Pop that car. You got it. You know, but that's the way I'm dealing with it, God. And that's not just here. That's not just here. That's wherever you go at, God. Wherever you go at, you got to go according to the Lord. Cause that's giving me what? Respect! Don't get bigger than your own self cause you God like fuck everybody. I'm gonna be me right. and I'm gonna do, do me, me. Gonna and do I don't me. care about nobody what else. That ain't civilized. But God's God always have been, always will be. That ain't civilized. You know what civilized means? It's to shut they ass what? Down. And I shut them down with my knowledge, God. And my wisdom. And my what? Understanding. Because that's going to bore my equality. And when I deal with that, that's going to show and prove that I'm the father of what? Civilization. They can't beat me down with that shit. The only way they can get you is when you break their rules. And they mad when you don't. Stop breaking their rules. Stop going unaccorded to mathematics. But that's what they want you to do. Once you go according to mathematics, they can't touch you. Because you're going to go to seven and they only can go to what? Six. Just keep that in your mind, God. Just stay according to mathematics. And you're going to build beyond their existence, God. They can't touch you. They are too short to bust God. They can't touch you. We ain't got to be ruthless. That's what they want. They want us to act like niggas. Savages in the pursuit of what? Happiness. We're not savages. We righteous people. And how they can tell the difference between us is our ways of what? Action. So when they thought they was gonna, we was going to be niggerous and we've been civilized, they say, oh shit, they different. And that's teaching. That's teaching, God. There's a lot of ways of teaching. There's different techniques in teaching. And one of the techniques of teaching is showing your difference. Because I'm under the light. Under like the savage. Under like a track. That's right. I'm under like all that shit, God. And that's my method of teaching. Because when they see me, they can tell the difference. God damn, that man different than all the rest of them. Even your parents. That's why I tell you, when you want to teach, First, teach your family. You can't teach these motherfuckers out here to teach your family, God. Word is born to our life. And I'm telling you the truth. I'm talking about, I got an odds I want to teach. If you really want to teach, once you get the knowledge of yourself, then you got to give it to your family. If your family can see the greatness in you and see the difference in you, then you educate. The people in the street don't know you. Tell them your name's Supremeness, and they'll say all right, Supremeness, but they didn't know you was Willy Lett yesterday. Yeah. They didn't know you was a jive ass nigga yesterday. Yeah. Your family know you was a jive ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> they know you was not 
whatever you was in school and all of that. You see what I'm saying? But when you say, when you get the knowledge of yourself, you got to show a rapid improvement. And guess who's going to see it first? Your family. God, if you can't teach your family, you can't teach nobody, God. Now you get out here thinking you teaching these sucker strange and people that don't know you. They only going by what you say. But your family ain't going by what you say. They going by what you live. But they know you. You know what I understand what I'm saying? And that's your first student. Your mama, your sister, your brother. You say, yo, my name's Supreme. They say, yo, John. You say, Supreme, yo, John, Supreme, yo, John, Supreme. Now you gotta live it. Then next thing you know, they be saying Supreme. But if your name is John and they keep calling you John, God damn it, what is you doing? You ain't living out Supreme. God damn right. Because you ain't teaching Don't put on me, put nothing. Put on the <laughs> teach the family first, and then teach the world later. This knowledge is self on what? Savior. Save yourself. Then save everybody else. Well, you can't teach your family, then what you say you about don't mean shit. And if your family can't see it, then you really ain't shit. Your friends could call you yo, sir, friend, or whatever name you want, but your family gonna know. Your woman gonna know. Anybody that's close to you gonna know. So what is important is to teach the people that's close to you first. You all there busy talking about, I'm going to get me 20 students. You can't even teach your daughter. <laughs> you going to get 20 students. You can't even teach your brother. <laughs> you don't even know who your first student's supposed to be. <laughs> and I'm telling you this. Because Islam is a natural. It's natural. It's a natural thing. You don't be God because somebody told you God. You God because you knew it inside and you just didn't know how to express it. Now you learning how to express it. Now you got to let everybody know that. Because the DNA factor is real. But if it was in you, then it's in your brother. And if it's in you, it's in your sisters. Do you care about them? Huh? Then you got to get to them. You got to spend more time with them. How you spend time with them and showing them. Sometimes you can't talk to them. You got to show them. I eat differently. I fast. I use different soaps. You know what I'm saying? Y'all in the same household, y'all, they going to see all of that. You know what I'm saying? You don't get sick and they do. They going to see all that shit. <laughs> then all of a sudden, they going to change. Next thing they gonna bear when this you. When they bear when this thing, you gonna say, all right, I'm ready to teach the right. outside world. Yeah. Cause I got my family bear witness in it yeah. here now. Yeah. But if your family don't bear when this you, you ain't ready to teach this world, God. Cause you ain't even real with your what? Right. So. I'm taking them up. And I mean that in the honest state that our family, our old, our sisters and our brothers mean a lot to us. Sometimes a lot more. We call all these other guys, but our family mean a lot more because we'll run to their aid quicker than we'll run to them. So why they ain't important with the knowledge? Peace, God. Lord, man. That's bad, man. <laughs> It's ghetto TV, God. That's what we but doing. Yo, God, but that, I'll keep it real. My name is one Savior of Allah. It means one who enlightens others. Yeah. What's it mean? It means one who enlightens others. That means enlightened means to bring something to you that you didn't understand. When we say the light shine in darkness and darkness comprehended not, that's because sometimes you didn't want to see it. But the knowledge and wisdom is mine. The understanding is who? Can't hear you to it. I said the knowledge and wisdom is mine. The understanding is who? Me and everyone else. No, the understanding is who? I can't give you understanding. I cannot give you understanding. I cannot give him understanding. And I cannot give him understanding. When you say you see something, that ain't because I see it, it's because you see it. Understanding means what? The see. I can't make you see. You got to make you see. You got to see it on your what? Own. The true God.
lives within you. He resides within you. Not in the church, not in the mosque, not in the synagogue, not in the uh, 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 revival, and not at the tent. He resides within the composition of that being that lives, that seeks to worship him. It's the him in you that is finding or seeking himself back. If you're looking for the white man on the cross, whose name is Cesar Bouger, Michelangelo's first cousin, the freak homosexual pedophile, the one who poses for the pictures of Jesus, then you will still be lost. Mm. The true God is a black man. There is no man been on the planet longer than you, so therefore there is no one who can tell you about God other than you, because God only appeared to you. You went to the rest of the world and gave God an avenue to the rest of the world. We, the rest of the world, worship rocks, dogs, fleas, and trees, <laughs> suns, rivers, fish, cats, monkeys, apes, and gorillas. You was the only one trying to explain to them about, take a look at yourself. Y'all laugh at Michael Jackson, but he said, look at the man in the mirror. He was trying to give you the same understanding. There is no mystery into who God is. If you pray every day, and you ask God for something, and you get up and you go out there and take some steps towards it, and you get it, God gave it to you. Well, where was God's hand presenting it to you at? Through yours. But we get caught up in the invisibility concept that something just popped out of thin air, osmosis. That don't work. God uses people because it's people that he uses to represent people, to communicate to people. When he talks to flies, he uses flies. When he talks to lions, he uses lions. When he talks to tigers, he uses tigers. So if he wants to talk to man, he will use another man. Who's better qualified to talk to man than a man? When it's time for you to get your punishment, it's coming from a man. On whatever level it is. When it's time for you to get your rewards, it's coming from a man. On whatever level it is. This is your choice. You can accept the true and living God or you can worship what you choose to. In the end, you're going to bear witness. So it doesn't matter what you do. In the end, every knee will bend, every head will bow, and every tongue will confess. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. So tell me this, what, what, what happened to the family values? Well, if you take, if you build a building and you leave one brick out of place, eventually the structure of the house will fall. When you have a society, that separates the man from the woman, or pits the man and the woman against each other, then you have no society. Societies are based upon communi communities. Communities are based upon family. Family is based upon man, woman, and child. Well, if you eradicate any one of them from the equation, you no longer have a family. And if you no longer have a family, you no longer have a society. If you no longer have a society, you cannot have a community. And if you don't have a community, you do not have a nation. And this is all based upon taking your principles, because it's principles that hold things together. You take the principles and you do away with the principles. And what do you have left? Nothing. So the people do what they feel like. If I want to act gay, it's all right. If I want to be a lesbian, it's all right. God accepts everybody, mm -hmm. but God doesn't accept everybody. God killed whole societies for being homos and lesbians. Go read your book. I'm not asking you to take my word. Go read your book. In all societies throughout the world, if you went there professing to be anything other than a man or a woman, you got eradicated. 
But we're in a society that tells you to accept all of the blasphemous acts that were never accepted before. And you begin to accept them and go along with them. So now you're just as guilty of the homo and the bull dagger as the homo and the bull dagger themselves who are doing this. Mm -hmm. There has to come a point where you shut down certain things that you know are not right. A man is not designed to go to bed with a man. A woman is not designed to go to bed with a woman. There are confusions. Because how do you take a car and turn it into an airplane? Hmm. You got a car that runs on gas, that has four tires, that rolls on the ground, and you want to get on the rooftop and drive the car off the roof and expect it to fly. Well, that's your problem. The end result will be your death. This is what's happening with this boy dagger homosexual thing. Because we don't have a family, we have no one to guide the men, we have no one to guide the women. So the people who are guiding the men and guiding the women are individuals who were not guided by a man or a woman. And just because you have masculine qualities does not make you a man. Just because you have feminine qualities that does not make you a woman. The word man means M-I-N-D. That's what a man is. He's a mind. Ask you about Preflo. What do you, what is, what do you think about Preflo? His name says it all. That's what he about. The dollar. That's the bottom line. He ain't about empowering people. That wasn't his real name. Come on. Do the knowledge. Go and you know, find out who he is. Come on. You ever met anybody with a name Dollar? Nah. That's, he's telling you who he is. His name is, his wife's name is what? It's Taffy, right? Oh, Taffy man. Dollar? I think so, Taffy. We should Taffy. got the, like, like, come on, man. They playing mind games on our people, man. You know what I'm saying? All of those prosperity preachers, they pimps, man. They not really, like, not helping, empowering people. If nobody's telling you who you are, if they're not telling you who you are, empowering about telling you who you truly are, and telling us, yo, as a black community, we gotta get our things together and come together economically, socially, and politically, and spiritually, then they not, they, if they're leading you closer to the white man, you gotta watch them, right? Anybody trying to put you deeper in with Christianity is, because Christianity as it is today is white supremacy, straight up. So they trying to move you closer to being an American, being white, that's what they trying to move you to. That's dangerous. Those are, they're some of the most, the black preacher is the most dangerous, one of the most dangerous entities that there is. Because we look up to him or her, but they're really against us. They're really, those are the ones that's really against us. All these black churches, right? I don't know where, you from Ohio, but I know here in New York, especially in the hood, every few hundred feet is a church. Church, whether it's Baptist, Pentecostal, Seventh Day, Jehovah's Witness, so and so, we got all of these churches, right, in mosques and synagogues, but our people are not empowered. My thing is, if something is not empowering you politically, spiritually, economically, why you keep using it? Don't, don't Judaism empower the white imposter Jews? It empowers them. Right? Don't they own most of these buildings? Don't they own banks? They got Israel, Israel got tanks and all of this. Don't Christianity, white supremacist Christianity, benefit white folks? Don't they benefit from it? Don't look at the Mormons, billion dollar religion. Look at Catholicism, billions of dollars. Don't the Catholic provide hospitals for their people? Provide all of this for their people? They do, right? So where is the, the black Baptist, the black Methodist, the black Protestants, where, where is their work? Where is, where is their work? If it's a soup kitchen, usually it's Catholic, right? If it's a hospital, it's Catholic. Where's our, where's our stuff? Where's the, true, the, the program for children learning about being African, about who they are? And they don't have that. Where's that? Y'all collecting, every Sunday they collecting millions of dollars, then they turn around and put it in the white bank. You gotta be kidding me. Then when they wanna take these trips, they go into Israel, 
Jordan. They won't even go to Africa where Christianity was created. Right. They won't go to Ethiopia. They won't go to Egypt. Right. Our Mind, direction yeah. is screwed up, yo. We gotta get together. Our minds gotta get right. I was about to say, how do how do we repair it? If we're so far behind, how do how do, how do we? I mean, it looks dire, but there's hope. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, there's brothers like you, your man here, other brothers that you standing at. You know, Harlem University. This is one of the spots where people come to meet. Right. You know what I'm saying? So there's hope. People gotta get educated about who they are. Right. I think everything starts from what you know. If you don't know to do better, how are you gonna? If you don't know better, how are you gonna do better? It's impossible. You don't have nothing to look forward to to say, yo, look, that Ramsey's is my ancestor. Chaka Zulu is my ancestor. Right. Hannibal is my ancestor. Hatshepsut is my ancestor. Queen T is my ancestor. If you don't know that, Harriet Tubman, and you don't internalize that, huh, you don't, you just thinking about, you know, fried chicken and watermelon at the end of the day. I got knowledge in 1964. Uh, I may have been one of the first who came to knowledge because the knowledge came to us in 1964. But I wasn't considered one of the first nine born. I was considered one of the first born perhaps in New York uh, in the time that the first born came on the scene ever since 1964. A lot of father taught quite well and him teaching us quite well the knowledge of ourselves. I uh, grew in that knowledge and as I grew in that knowledge I taught that knowledge and my first uh, base of teaching was Uptown Mecca which was up in 146 and up in the upper Manhattan and I taught very prolifically and brought a lot of gods and earth into the knowledge itself when we was called five sinners back in 64, 65, up until 68. And uh, as I grew, I added more responsibility by being a responsible individual and doing more serious work. Uh, I used to go to see the father when he was in Manawa, take a lot of brothers up there to see the father in Manawa after bringing them in the knowledge itself. And when the father came home and established the street academy here on uh, 7th Avenue and 126th Street, I was one of the ones that was one of the first students in the classes that the father actually used to teach at the street academy. And I was one of the young guards that he sent up to Pilon to raise the nation in Pilon, or really to organize them in Pilon, because the teachers was already in Pilon prior to me going up there, but it wasn't organized to the extent that everybody was coming back to Mecca to see Almighty God Allah as they were supposed to, and we hadn't had no schools. I established one of the first schools in Pilon, which is the Bronx. All right, I got one of the first uh, public schools where we could hold our first parliaments in the Bronx. And coming back to uh, Mecca, after graduating from the Five Cent Street Academy here in Mecca, I was also one of the first to go to Holland Prep, which was a black college-bound institution that uh, launches off to the various colleges and universities in America, all right? As well as, I was one of the uh, first, or either founders or organizers, to start the show and prove. The show and prove just experienced his 39th annual show and prove, and it was to commemorate uh, the father that he had been assassinated in 1969, or uh, June 13, 69 to be exact. And we gave the first show and prove on June 13, 1971 at Holland Prep, the place that the father had uh, combined his efforts with uh, the headmaster who the father had taught, and he had assumed the name Guard Cop, uh, the headmaster that is of Holland Prep, and welcomed us there and allowed us to give the first show and prove. Now we had the show and prove at Harry and Tubman, Learning Center, that's the school where the father had the first indoor parliament. So the history, you know, has been rich and maintained. Uh, me going to the injustice, I went to the injustice for defending uh, our neighborhood and the safety of the youth in the neighborhood. All right, I won't go into detail, but it was actually uh, defending the youth in the neighborhood and the district attorney in the Bronx at the time had actually threatened a lot of the father at a Christmas party given by Mayor Lindsay, who was the mayor at that time, that if the father brought his teachings to p in the Bronx, that he would have his black ass put in jail. Mm -hmm. And although the father was assassinated in 71, I mean 69, two years later in 71, I was arrested for essentially bringing them teachers to Pilon, teaching in Pilon, and rising the nation, and what the district attorney had promised he would do with the father about his teachings was suffered upon me for maintaining the teachings in Pilon. And I did wisdom guard years in the name of Allah and so, so, showed and proved. 
for the people that don't know, that's 27 years. So you did 27 years, Lord, sure. and it didn't take your mindset. You still, you came out with the mindset even stronger, saying that. Like, yeah, well, it, it, it was uh, like we say, we had, I had to show and prove. I had to go through hell and come out right to show and prove that the laws of God always have been and always will be. And that's what Speaking God, my name is Father Divine. I'm the oral historian of the nation of Islam. Blind, and we 
believe that. And we said, hold up, how could this God be all good and all righteous and all that stuff? He killed off all the planet. And he's supposed to be his own creation. Right? But um, so things like that make me open up, be alert, and understand what them lessons are talking about. Because our lessons say one thing, but you gotta interpret it, understand the meaning behind them lessons. That's the only way, that's what I've been through. And that's well, what's the, not to cut you off, what's the, what's the science with the, the mathematics by the day? The mathematics, that's what Allah gave us. See, the Muslims had them lessons, 123, but Allah gave us the mathematics. Because the mathematics was the tool that was needed to interpret them lessons. You see, we had the garden, but we didn't have tools to solve them. Mathematics gave us that ability. We know what them lessons say, you know? When they see 23 million square miles of useful land used by the original man, that's speaking of our mathematics that it too is wizard, which is also the woman. And the stand is the child. So the useful land that we use daily is our woman and our children. You know? So that's what them lessons talking about. How much useful land is used by the total population of the planet Earth? 29 million. You add up two and nine, you got 11. One and one is what? Two. Which is wisdom, which is also the woman. So therefore, when it says how much this land you got a total population, it's talking about what do the whole population use? They use their woman. That's all it's saying. That land is woman. Now we distinguish that land for the 23 men and the 6 men. We got the 23 men as our baby. And our woman, our woman, our baby. Wisdom who understands. The woman who understands two and three is five, five is power, and five is the truth. A woman who understands the truth, that's our useful land. That's the earth that we make righteous. That's how we can make it all the bring the planet Earth. Because we make the earth by making her our earth. Right? The shape, mold, and form her. And after we make her, we do what? She's ours. You the maker and then you the owner. And then we become the cream. Because after she's yours and you taught her, now you can plant the seed within her womb. That's the cream that rises to the top. Then after that baby is born, we become what? The father of that civilization. That's our, our babies. That's our civilization. And in order to sustain for them and maintain their existence, then with food, clothes, and shelter, you gotta go out in the street, you gotta be God. That's why we the God of the universe. Because the universe is everything. And whenever we come in contact, we got a mask. One, one more question before we get done, Lord. What, what's, your, what's your take on Barack Obama? Barack Obama, that's my man. That's my man. First of all, he wasn't the first black president of the United States. The first black president of the United States was Hanson. John Hanson. He was the first. He the one that made Washington a general in the Revolutionary Army. That's how he became a general. Long before he became president. Right? He was a he the one that developed the seal. He the one that developed the seal that they use today for the United States. He developed the seal. And that was a black man. The first president of the United States. So in reality, Obama's not the 44th president, he's the 45th. But they don't teach us that in our history. You know? Please, God. Please, God. Please, you know
man who sniper. This is Harlem, where you gotta come one day. Harlem, place that they teach you how to play. This is New York, what's going on is crazy. This is Harlem, where you gotta come one day. Harlem, where we struggle every day. This is New York, what's going on it is crazy. We got the teach you how to play. Nobody cares, everybody want their own share. It's all about the dollar. We trust the dollar. Twenty-four hours of hard work, busy. Doing anything to get it, it ain't easy. So when you get all the time to get locked up. I seen, I seen what he was doing. I seen your camera. I can't have you. I ain't sick. You I'm you to walk out. I Call them where you gotta come one day. Call them place that they teach you how to play. This is New York. What's going on? It's crazy. Call them where you gotta come one day. Call them where we struggle every day. This is New York. What's going on? It's crazy. Boss, to do that from the That's how we do it. We I can't buy them. 125 Street, my heart can resist. I feel the drum beat, calling me to keep my eyes open. This is what I'm in the smiling street. I know the world is full of hate, but I can't wait. Is this my fate? I don't believe in destiny. I was born and when I never surrender. I told him, I told him, I told him, you can't take my money and expect to get with it. And that's the truth. I said, 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 I so we got to be powerful. And he got to talk And he got to talk some. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. This nigga got to talk some. He's still a quick.